Hi everyone, happy Thursday. Today is December 7th. Today we will be going about our usual business. I'm gonna try to get as many orders done as I can. I got another order last night, so we have 10 now. And yeah, I'm gonna start by finishing up this strawberry peekaboo top, and then we'll move on. The next one I think is another River Dahlia top in the color yellow, which I haven't made a yellow top in a long time, so interesting, fun. What, what can I say? What else? Nothing. I have not eaten yet. I didn't make any breakfast today, but I was thinking that I would really like to have like a breakfast sandwich. And I have cheese and eggs and ham, but the only bread that I have in my house is burger buns. I'm trying to decide if a burger bun would make a tasty breakfast sandwich. I usually make them on regular toast. I mean, restaurants put breakfast sandwiches on burger buns sometimes, right? Mm, I think it could be good, but it won't be the best. But I think it'll be good enough that I will make it. I'm in the zone, therefore I cannot eat until I have finished this top. But it's gonna be finished really soon because I'm doing the bottom row right now and then after that we'll just have to do the outline and the straps. So I'm gonna say 20 minutes and it is 1.20 right now. Let's get it done. This is done and it is in fact 1.41, so. Now I'm starving, so let's go make some food. First things first, let's get all our stuff. Okay, cheese, maybe two pieces, and ham. Need a bowl and a plate. Now, I'm gonna break two eggs into this bowl. We're gonna put salt and pepper on them, of course. Be a little bit of seasoning. Mix, mix, mix. Now, this is gonna go in the microwave, okay? That's not weird. It just cooks perfectly in this little round container and then it fits very nicely on a, on a, well, in this case, a bun. So 30 seconds, stir, and then another 30 seconds. While that's going, I'm gonna get my bun in the toaster. Stir the eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some ham on top of these eggs and microwave it for like the last 10 or 15 seconds because I want my ham to be warm. Now, we have bun, cheese, egg, ham. That is really hot. More cheese. And then, bun. Here it is, the masterpiece. We've got a egg burger, I guess, with some ham and two slices of cheese. We'll try it out. That was magical and delicious. We're gonna be starting the next top, which is a River Dolly top in yellow. And I'm also gonna be going to watch the new episode of Jujutsu Kaisen, so let us begin. <laughs> this is the only thing I know about this anime, is that he puts a banana in a microwave and it turns into a time machine. What? Here we go, finished, done. That goes with the pink peekaboo, and I also got a pink hair bandana. So before the sun goes down, while we have a little bit of lighting left, I'm just gonna like pack up these orders, and then we'll move on to the next order, which is a custom sneak a peek top and a custom lily top. So, I forgot I was making a TikTok, so I need to film the very end of it. <sighs> The sun is setting and it's only 4.30.
Why is it so laggy? Why is it why is it so laggy? just done like an update thing and that's why I had to send back in. Because I haven't used Photoshop in a long time. exactly like this. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'll get views? Yeah. Okay. Next thing I'm going to work on is a extra large lily top in the color Earth Ombre. Told you it was a recent popular, so I'm going to do that. And then I think at some point tonight uh, I'm going to play Skyrim, so it's Skyrim time. Fuck. No Whoa. way. Okay, okay, keep going, keep going. That was an accident. Listen, you gotta, you gotta. Oh, oh shit. Where did she go? Oh Where shit. Did she go? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, shit. Ah! <laughs> no! A Starion, you know, for the best performance, mm -hmm. the man who presented it was Kratos. Oh. For the one who won that last year. Yeah. So, we ordered pizza for dinner, as you guys saw. It was tasty. We got a free pizza since I messed up last time. And then I made sure to order us separate pizzas so that the mess up could not be possible. I'm definitely going to finish this top tonight. All I have to do is, like, the bottom the outline and the straps you know you know how it goes but i'm gonna be working on this in between matches of call of duty because i'm just i'm gonna play some call of duty because it's fun and whatever well guys i have a feeling that this vlog is going to be short i just i wasn't feeling very talky today we didn't have a lot to do this was the first day that i didn't have any mail to open so i went through my present list and I realized that everything had arrived and then I looked at where I was lacking who needed more presents and I ordered more things so we're gonna get more mail it's just I'm not sure when it will be here <laughs> not that it matters I just I think it's fun getting mail I would love to do some in-person shopping but unfortunately I can't drive so that's why I order most of my things online it's just easier that way mainly 
I am quite excited for tomorrow because we are going to see the new Studio Ghibli movie and that is The Boy and the Heron, I believe. I guess technically that would be today because it is after midnight right now. I'm gonna go to bed soon. I wanted to finish this, but I got caught up in um, playing some games with my boyfriends. I was having a good time. I unlocked a gold camo, my first gold camo. I know most of you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but I got my first gold camo with my first gun in Call of Duty. So I was like, yay, that's cool. <laughs> So um, I'm working on my second gun and anyway, I was crocheting this like in between every rounds. It's just the in between is pretty short. It's close. It's really close. It will take like not long at all to finish it up tomorrow morning. I really did just spend most of the day like sitting around and crocheting tops. We finished the pink peekaboo top. We made the yellow river dahlia top. I did make a TikTok about the Yellow River Dahlia top as well. And, oh, we packed orders, so that's good. I'll definitely take those to the post office at some point, hopefully tomorrow, since we're going out to see the movies. I got some fun suggestions in my comments. Somebody said that we should build gingerbread houses, which I think would be fun. I haven't done that in like years and years, so that might be a fun thing to do. Somebody also said they would like to see some IRL shopping. So I was thinking like, maybe I can convince my mom and my sister to take me shopping, but I would have to ask them if they wanna be in my vlogs. I'm not sure if they wanna be in my vlogs. I'm sure my little sister would love to be in my vlogs because she's young, she's 12. So she thinks that me having any sort of internet fame is like really cool. <laughs> If I go shopping, I would need to make a list of specific things that I want to buy. Whenever I buy Christmas presents, I make a list of like all of the younger people in my life, like my younger brother, my younger sister, my nephew, my niece, and I try to make sure that they all have an equal amount of presents to open because in my family, we like to do Christmas morning. We like to open one by one and we go around. We always start youngest to oldest. It's honestly just like really fun. But whenever you go one by one around and around and around and around, at some point, if you have more presents than another person, then like that person runs out and then the other people are still opening. So they're just kind of sitting there. So we try to kind of even them out a little bit. Do you guys have any fun or silly Christmas traditions that you do in the mornings? If you do, let me know in the comments. I just love hearing about that stuff. It's always so interesting to me how much Christmas traditions vary, especially in between families. And it especially baffles me that I didn't know that people did things differently whenever I was growing up. Like whenever my dad married my stepmom, she came from a family where they said that every single present was from Santa. So whenever we started celebrating Christmases with her, I was already um, a teenager and I, I knew Santa like wasn't real obviously, but every present that she had wrapped, she wrote from Santa on it. And I was so confused because I was like, Santa doesn't bring all the presents. And she was like, what? Yes, he does. But it's because in my family, we had all agreed that Santa brings you one present and the present that Santa brings you is sat out unwrapped and it's right under your Christmas stocking. So we had like a fireplace and we would hang up our stockings and then right under your stocking, like sitting on the fireplace would be your Santa present. And then everything under the tree that's wrapped, whoever it says it's from is like, that's who it's from. Like it'll say mom or it's like from sister or like, you know, something like that. I quite literally like didn't even realize that other people made all of the presents from Santa. I thought that was crazy, but also the fact that I never even knew that, like how did we as children not disclose that information to each other? I, I have no idea, but it's, it's fascinating. If anyone is celebrating the start of Hanukkah today, I want to wish you a happy Hanukkah. I hope that you are having a great, great time. If you want to tell me about any of your holiday traditions in the comments below, that would be great as well. Honestly, I'm doing like the last row on the bottom. Maybe I could finish this tonight. 
It depends. It depends on how late I want to stay up because it's already 1245. Hmm. I mean, I could say like 20 more minutes. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. After this is done, I need to remember to lay it out and take measurements of it. I'm working on moving from my standard US bra sizing chart to a like garment measurement chart so that people can know like what size the actual garment is and we don't have to guess or anything and also just like maybe if their bra size is a little bit off or a lot of people honestly don't even know their bra size then it doesn't matter because they can just look at the measurements of the actual garment and compare it to themselves that being said i'm trying to make every size of every top and lay them out and take measurements <laughs> mostly i just needed to do that with my older designs like the lily top for example in the last like two or three patterns that i wrote i already did that while i was writing the pattern so that was super helpful but now i just need to go back and do it with all of my other tops well would you look at that ta-da and it is 11 14 so it took a little bit over 20 minutes i think but of course it's getting late so we're going to have to end our activities here i am quite sleepy i really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i hope that you have been enjoying all of my december vlogs so far there is definitely going to be more to come so i will see you in the next one bye